we're looking at here is our summer outlook. So for July, August, and September, uh, we do see uh, moderate chances for above average temperatures across much of the western U.S., in fact, much of the U U.S. As far as precipitation goes, we have a, a weak favoring of below normal precipitation across the Pacific Northwest. NOAA and the National Weather Service say that long range forecast is based on a number of factors, including an El Nino prediction. El Nino means warm water is being pushed toward the West Coast, with sea surface temperatures impacting the atmosphere. You know, there could be an increased chance for an active fire weather season, an active wildfire smoke season across the Pacific Northwest. It also could indicate the development of drought conditions across the Pacific Northwest. As we head into hotter months, knowing above average temperatures are likely in certain regions means governments can plan where to station extra firefighting resources and farmers can make some planning decisions. Now, as of right now, NOAA says that it appears the likelihood of a strong El Nino event is around 56%. They say that the possibility of a moderate event is around 84%. Live in Seattle, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.